Good morning and happy Tuesday, everybody. Today is another work from home day. Surprise, surprise, I know. But we're gonna switch it up a little bit, so don't worry. It's not gonna be the same as my normal vlogs. But obviously first we have to start with skincare and I feel like I can't start my skincare routine until I've hydrated my lips. Much better. I've been getting so many questions about the Ilia products that I started using. This is the base face milk and this is the super serum skin tint. I honestly love both of them. This one I read a bunch of reviews before I bought it and the only negative really review that I saw was that it doesn't smell the greatest, which is true. It does kind of smell like play-doh almost. I personally don't mind the smell. Some people are really turned off by it and say that they smell it throughout the day. I just smell it when I'm applying it, but after that it goes away. But I use this on days that I'm not gonna wear makeup and I honestly love it. It just makes me feel like I've put makeup on and it makes my skin look more even throughout the day. But this is gonna be a staple during the summer for sure. And then this has been incredible. I have very like dry skin, especially right now. I feel like it's been getting colder and then warmer. And so my skin has been freaking out. But I've been using this as like a toner almost in the morning. And I've also been using it as a face prep before makeup. And it is my new holy grail. Last time, sit down and do our makeup. I have some filming that I need to do today, including a brand deal. So I just wanna do a little bit of makeup to freshen my face up a little bit. Not anything super crazy, but just wanna cover my face, make myself look a little bit more awake. So, so I'm gonna show you guys what I typically do for like a more natural kind of makeup look, more of my like everyday look. First step is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Even though I recently did my skincare, I do like to use this as a base. And while that's sitting, I go in with the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel just to put my eyebrows in place. Since we're just going for a natural makeup look, I'm just gonna go in with my Lancome foundation. I love this stuff. You just warm it up on my hands before I put it on my face. And recently I've been using a brush to blend out my foundation. I honestly love the way that it looks, especially if I'm going for a more natural look. And then I do have a few breakout spots because it's that time of the month. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer from Urban Decay. And we're gonna use our favorite, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And of course, can't forget the Rare Beauty blush. This one is the shade Bliss, and I absolutely love it because I know that these can be really pigmented, but I feel like the Bliss is very, very easy to blend in. And now I'm gonna go in with my Dior Forever Cushion Powder. I love this powder. I was a little nervous because it's like a lavender kind of color, but honestly, it works really well as a setting powder. This one is my go-to. So my brows have officially set, but I am going to fill them in a little bit because I do have some hair loss at the beginning of my brows and I just kind of want to fill them in, make them look more even. So I love using the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Precision Pencil. This stuff is great. Since I'm going for a more natural look today, I'm not going to do anything special with my eyes. Usually if I'm just kind of like going for a really quick, simple makeup look, I will just take some of the bronzer that I use on the rest of my face and put it on either the crease or the crease in my eyelids. 
So I'm going to use my favorite bronzer from Too Faced. This is one of my favorite blush and highlighter duos. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide Palette. Like, look at how pretty that pink is. And this is like a pretty light pink. So again, going for a more natural look, I like to stick to pinks and neutrals. Of course, we can't forget mascara. I go either between the Rare Beauty one or this Lancome one. Um, I think I'm going to use the Lancome one today, though. I get asked all the time what my lip combo is, so I'm going to show you guys what I do for it. It is these three products that I do the Milani Understated Lip Liner in French Rosé. And then I go in with this really pretty YSL lipstick. This is 162. And then I go in with this Milani lip gloss just a little bit over top just to kind of like give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of shimmer. But the YSL lipstick does a really good job of hydrating so you don't need a ton of lip gloss. I just do it for a little bit more of a pink glittery kind of look. Definitely going to need to put some dry shampoo on my hair before I start filming, but this is the finished everyday look. Again, I love this lip combo. I use it pretty much anytime I do my makeup, especially for spring and summer. I feel like it just gives a really good pink kind of glow. And as someone who has chronically chapped or dry lips, I can tell you the YSL lipsticks are the way to go because honestly, they're so hydrating and all of them smell like watermelon but that is the look we are all finished we're ready to start the day so i am going to finish some more of my coffee before i do my other filming and other work for today but i hope you guys have a fabulous day